Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I'm going to use Excel 365 to calculate annualized returns on a series of investments. So I got this suggestion from Martin and commenter, and he pointed out there's a simple, simpler formula than what I've used in the past, and also one that's even more accurate. So let's see how we can do this. And it is simpler, and it is accurate. So first, I've got some dummy investments in here. They all have some purchase date. They all have a, the same $10,000 buy value. And I'm pretending that these are current values. Of course, we have to assume that these are values of the stock or whatever the investment held, and they're updated every day, if not more often. OK, so let's calculate the days held first. So I'm just going to simply take equals today's date using the today function, and I will subtract the buy date. And that's going to get us, oh, that's a weird format. Don't be put off by that. I click on that cell, and I choose general will be fine. And I'm going to get a uh, number of days as a result. One date minus another date in Excel is the number of days in between. Great. Now let's calculate the total profit. So I'm going to do equals, and I'm going to do parentheses here, the current value minus the buy value. I got to correct my spelling of buy, it looks like, divided by the buy value. New price minus the old price divided by the old price. Now this gets us a pretty impressive percentage but remember, these percentages are over a big period of time. They could be over a 1,000 days, or they could be over something small like 61 days. So just looking at the total profit isn't necessarily enough to make your decisions. That's why we want to take this annualized return. So using this formula that Martin suggested equals total profit divided by the number of days held multiplied by 365, and we'll do 0.25 to account for leap year um, every four years. And that gets us an annualized return. Auto fill that down. Now we can clearly see that there's an investment that got a 464% annual return. Basically, it's because it went from 10,000 to 17 plus, and it did that in only two months. So that's huge. Now, once we've got this data, it's much better to start to make comparison, it's comparisons over different investments. And we can test this to see how accurate it is. So check this out. We can pick on one of our investments and change the numbers so that they're easy for us to do the math in our head. So I will pick on this investment right here. In fact, let me go ahead and correct this. Make that buy value. That's annoying me. OK, so I'll pick on this investment. Purchased it for $10,000. let us assume its current value is $15,000. And let us assume the days held wasn't isn't being counted. Let us assume it is exactly 365.25. Exactly one year. And now we can see what we would expect to see. $10,000 to $15,000 over one year, the annual return is 50%. Great. What if we, this was double? I'll just do equals 365.25 times 2. So now it's exactly two years. 50% total profit or total gain. However, 25% annual gain. So that gives us some confirmation that, these, uh, that this calculation is accurate. So let's check this out again. Obviously, calculating number of days held is simply taking today's date minus the purchase date. Today minus whatever that buy date happens to be. Total profit is the new value minus the old value divided by the old value. New minus the old divided by the old. That gets us a total profit regardless of number of days. And the nice little annualized return formula is the total profit, total profit percentage, divided by the number of days held. Don't be put off by that formatting there on that date. Multiplied by the number of days per year. Um, whatever value is appropriate for you. And there we go. And that gets us a nice, sweet little annualized return so we can really start to compare investments. And it looks like when I did my randoms, I don't have any negatives, but this would work for negatives too. So if a $10,000 investment was now worth $8,500, that is a decline. In this case, 15% case over just 61 days, which is annualized out to a negative 90% loss. So excellent. So thank you for hanging out with me and um, definitely a much nicer and more accurate way to go. Take care.